So I have something here that's not really a game. Uh, in 1987, Ford came out with a Ford simulator, and it wasn't meant to be a game, but I certainly played it as one. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to go through it today, kind of show you one of the things that happened back in uh, in the 80s on DOS. Uh, so uh, what we have here is a, a simulator written in EGA. Uh, I've uh, uh, if I do a, a dir slash wide, you can see all the files that are in here. Uh, all we need to do is run uh, Ford. And you can see the awesome sounds that we get on this. This definitely requires a PC speaker. If you're not hearing sounds on this when you play the game yourself, uh, check to make sure that uh, your PC speaker is enabled because all these sounds are coming off the PC speaker. Uh, so uh, this was a Ford simulator and the intention was uh, if you couldn't make it down to your dealership uh, to try the cars, you could try it on your computer. Uh, it was an interesting experiment. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring up the menu. Uh, and uh, you can go through these different uh, ways of uh, exploring uh, Ford. We'll, we'll get into the buyer's guide and stuff later, but uh, let's take a quick drive behind the wheel on uh, one of the cars. We'll hit one to go into the Ford simulator. Uh, and uh, we get to pick a track and so I'm gonna pick uh, we'll just pick the touring track just because we're gonna familiarize ourselves with the uh, uh, with the car itself so we'll hit one for that uh, and uh, now we get to pick uh, the cars and so they've got all these different cars that you can try uh, and so we're going to uh, see what we have here so we got uh, the Aerostar the Bronco the Continental Cougar uh, you can see all the different cars we have on here I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and try the Aerostar uh, that's a four-speed automatic um, and it's sort of a I guess a, a, a minivan so we're going to try that uh, we'll go ahead and press uh, enters to select and here we are on the test track um, we need to press I to start the car the B I stands for ignition and you can see the awesome sounds there. We need, oh, we need to press our uh, S to, to fasten the safety belt. So we'll do that. Uh, and uh, uh, F1 for help. I'll just bring up the help real quick. And so what we're going to be doing is caps lock. Uh, hold that down as the accelerator. Uh, Alt is going to do the brakes. Uh, we're not doing a manual transmission on this one, so I don't need to worry about uh, numbers one through five. Uh, arrow keys, turn left and right, uh, and that's what we'll do to uh, drive the car. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just press and hold the, the caps lock key to get us uh, up to speed. And you can see that our arrow star is accelerating. Eh, it's not too bad. I mean, I'm, I'm holding down the caps lock key. Let's bring it up to about 35 miles an hour, just kind of see what it's like on, we'll call this city roads. Uh, and you can hear that constant buzz. I'll stop talking a little bit so you can actually hear it. Okay, now let's go ahead and bring up to, let's say, 45 miles an hour. So I'm here I am at 46. Yeah, and because I have to use the arrow keys, it, it is a little tough to kind of keep it uh, centered on my lane so um, you know this is not exactly driving with a uh, you know <laughs> a real steering wheel simulator okay let's uh, let's go on the freeway here and we got our next uh, uh, straightaway and we'll go ahead and bring it up to about 55 okay here we go 55 miles an hour we are now at, at uh, freeway speeds and it handles you know not too bad this is a pretty good car and uh, so there we are, we're driving at, at, uh, at freeway speeds. We'll bring it up to 65 just to kind of speed it up a little bit. It handles pretty well at 65. Let's go open it all the way up. Our next straightaway here. And I got a turn. So that's kind of tough to accelerate on the turn, but how high can I go? Whoa! Oh, I redlined this thing here. 96 seems to be as high as I can go, and I just went off the road. So now we know that at 90 miles an hour, the uh, Ford, what is this, the uh, Aerostar, uh, not a great uh, handling at about 90 miles an hour, but you know, I am going 90 miles an hour on a uh, what is simulated here for uh, uh, regular city uh, streets. Let me bring it back up to. Whoa! Whoa! Here I 
am off the road again. And that white line means we are almost done. It's going to slow us back down. And there's our finish line. Ford hopes you had an enjoyable drive. All right, so we're going to go ahead and press F8 to get back into the info center. And now this is where you get to learn about the car. So uh, this car has, uh, you know, uh, this is all showing you what all wheel drive is. Uh, you can get uh, uh, different uh, information there on uh, different drive wheel configurations. Uh, but that's that's kind of how uh, this uh, simulator worked. Um, we can uh, uh, go back to the info center uh, with F8. We can learn more about the car. Now this is not the one that we were driving, but this is just talking, I think, about airflow management. Press and hold spacebar to see airflow. You can see how the airflow works around the car. Uh, and then we'll go back into the info center. And now it's going to tell me about the uh, the all-wheel drive. So uh, that was sort of a, a, a quick test drive, if you will, of the uh, uh, Ford driving simulator. I'll go ahead and uh, escape out of the program. Uh, this, as I said, was, was not meant as a game, uh, but uh, when we didn't have a lot of games in the house, this is certainly something that we would... Uh, uh, put in and 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 play uh, with uh, driving around. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the Ford Buyer's Guide real quick here. Uh, so I'll press number two to get into the Buyer's Guide. So this is showing a whole bunch of information about uh, uh, the Buyer's Guide. It provides a representative listing of uh, the different models, uh, space bar, and this is a listing of the different uh, models that they have out there. Uh, we can look, for example, at the uh, Ford Taurus GL. And you get a whole bunch of information about uh, about the GL model specs, number one. Um, and so there we go, telling us about the, uh, the Ford Taurus uh, GL. And quite a bit of information about uh, what was inside each one of these cars. So uh, it wasn't just about test driving the cars. If you were trying to... Uh, go through different uh, and compare different uh, models, uh, this will allow you to go through and look at the information uh, in a uh, uh, kind of at your, at your own pace. You can uh, obviously take notes and by the time you go to the uh, dealership, the goal is that you should be able to uh, uh, be better armed with information. Uh, here's a financial spreadsheet. We can put information about uh, what we want to put in for a down payment and the trade-in that we might have uh, and, uh, and things like that. But uh, we're going to uh, skip out of that if we can. Um, and I'll go back to the main menu. So uh, I just wanted to kind of show uh, the Ford simulator. This, as I said, uh, wasn't really meant as a game. Um, I, uh, as a kid, I don't think I ever went to the Ford Buyer's Guide. It was all about going into the, into the Ford driving simulator. Uh, but uh, there you go. That was uh, uh, just a demonstration of one of the other games uh, or simulators that you have uh, in DOS. Again, I'll put a, a link to that. Uh, in the description of the video. Uh, in the meantime, please visit our website at freedos.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.